There once was a seed that was carried far away and left to sprout in a valley for a very long stay. As it happened, this seed sprouted in a place that had nothing but grass, save for the occasional visit from animals, insects, and the plain art class. As the seasons passed, the seed grew and grew, yet as to who he was, he never knew. And this, I am afraid, made him very blue. Without the guidance of another seed, he spent his days thinking and dreaming of what he was to be. In the spring, he met a honeybee, when the valley was a grassy green sea. He said, look at me, I am a bee. He flapped his leaves for all to see. But as hard as he tried, he could not fly. He sighed, I cannot be a bee. I cannot fly, you see. In the summer, there was a picnic next to the sprout, where the most charming Frenchman sat. He shouted, look at me, I am from Paris. He grew a mustache and said, mais oui. But then, a young owl told him with a glance, There is no chance you are from France. Don't you see, you can't eat cheese. The seedling said, Yes, I agree. I cannot be a Frenchman. I cannot eat cheese, you see. In the autumn, he met a friendly bear who thought he looked best when he brushed his hair. He thought, look at me, I'm a bear. He raised his branches in the air, growling at the ants without a care. But when the bear left for his seasonal nap, the poor sprout's mind saw the gap. He realized, a bear I cannot be. Lowering his head, he cried, I cannot be a bear. I cannot take a nap, you see. As the years went by, the sprout had grown so high. He thought, maybe I can ask this guy. So he waited and waited for his chance. But I'm afraid there was no one to ask in that vast expanse. So he pretended he had been a cat in his past life. Who knew? It was true that his branches purred when the east winds blew. He spent long hours practicing Tai Chi. And from books he learned in theory how to water ski. He wrote love songs about the bears, bees, and the Caspian Sea. He thought he might be a flea, a flower, or even a boar. And once when he got the flu, he told an ant he was a dinosaur. It was then that the ant told him, Why silly you are a tree, can't you see? The seed sighed disappointedly, Look at me, I'm a tree. A tree, he thought, couldn't be as great as a bear, a Frenchman, or a bee. Then one snowy winter, when the tree was tall, green and stout, a man in a jacket and hat came along and dug him out. The tree was taken over roads and highways, through valleys, fields and byways, passing acres of forest, brown and white. The tree traveled throughout the night, when finally the truck slowed to a stop. His large bushy branches began to flop. He felt himself being moved around, and when he looked down, he saw that he was planted in the middle of a very large town. He was decorated with garland and colored lights, and a big yellow star shone from the highest heights. The ornament sat on his branches with a tug, 
he felt as pretty as a ladybug. Twinkling and shimmering and surrounded by snow, he lit up the town with his welcoming glow. And all the people came out to see how beautiful it was to be a tree. They sang and danced and spread great cheer for all those they held so dear. At that moment, the tree wished for nothing more. He said, I am so happy that I am me, that I am not a bear or a Frenchman or a bee, you see, but that I am a perfect me. I am a Christmas tree. And so a seed who did not know who or what to be and who thought he might be a Frenchman, a bear or a bee at last outgrew all uncertainty to become the world's loveliest Christmas tree. The End